you mentioned in, in one of your papers, I wanted to ask you about it, that because insulin is pro-anabolic, can actually lead to the anabolism of fat tissue. It can lead to weight gain as a side effect. And I think you described it as a barrier to compliance, which I thought was a fitting way to to describe it. But, you know, if, if a side effect of taking insulin to manage your diabetes is that you gain weight and you put on additional fat mass, I can definitely understand why that would be a barrier to compliance. So the evidence that insulin is anabolic is not so strong. It's it's, it's stronger that it's uh, more anti-catabolic. So one of the key ways in which someone living with type 1 diabetes avoids hyperglycemia is by needing to consume more carbohydrates. Gotcha. Okay. So under those situations, uh, some individuals can see it as a, a real... <laughs> I don't want to say annoyance because it's stronger than annoyance, but something that's really a barrier to that is that they get annoyed by the fact that they have to uh, consume extra carbohydrates. 